Hello everybody, my name is Bhavdeep Patel and I welcome all of you in our video number 3 of chemistry for 11 science. In video number 3, we are going to discuss about basic information for 21 to 30 elements. In video number 1, we have discussed about 1 to 10 elements and in video number 2, we have discussed about 11 to 20 elements. Now, it's time for 21 to 30 elements. Okay. In column number 1, the atomic numbers are written from 21 to 30. In the second column, name of the elements are there. Now, 21, scandium, 22, titanium, 23, vanadium, 24, chromium, 25, manganese, 26, iron, 27, cobalt, 28, nickel, 29, copper, 30, zinc. One more time. Scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper and zinc. Column number third is about symbol. Scandium, S, C, titanium, T, I, vanadium, B, chromium, C, R, manganese, M, N, iron, F, E, cobalt, C, O, nickel, N, I, copper, C, U, zinc, Z, N. So these are the symbol for 21 to 30 elements. Let us discuss about the number of protons and number of electrons. Before discussing number of protons and electrons, you know that protons having symbol small p are positively charged and present in nucleus. Electrons having symbol small e negatively charged and are present in orbital. Let us find out the number of protons and electrons. As per video number 1 and 2, you know that atomic number is equals to the number of proton is equals to the number of electron. So, scandium atomic number is 21. So, number of protons and electrons are 21. Titanium atomic number 22. So, number of protons and electrons are 22. Vanadium Atomic number 23. So, number of protons and electrons are 23. Chromium. Atomic number 24. So, number of protons and electrons are 24. Manganese. Atomic number 25. And number of protons and electrons are 25. Iron. Atomic number 26. Number of protons and electrons are 26. Cobalt. Atomic number 27. So, number of protons and electrons are 27. Nickel. Atomic number 28. So, number of protons and electrons are 28. Next, copper. Atomic number is 29. So, number of protons and electrons are 29. Here we have zinc with atomic number 30 and number of protons and electrons are 30. Let us discuss first of all last column which is about molar mass. Yes, as per our video number 1 and 2, you know the rule that odd and even numbers are going to be multiplied by 2. Then we have to add 1 in the case of odd numbers and in the case of even number, we are going to just multiply by 2. Okay, let us discuss this rule for odd number and even number. For odd number and for even number, we have to multiply it by 2. We are not going to add 1 in the case of 21 to 30 elements. So, I am going to put a circle over here. So, you are not going to use 
this one. So multiply odd and even number by two, and remember one more shortcut trick. That is three times four five. Three times four five, which means three times four five forty five. So one time is four five. Second time four five. And third time four five. Am I clear? You have to remember the p factor three times forty five. So three is time. Now forty five. One time forty five. Two time and forty five three time. Now three times five. Three times five means three times five five and five. Here we are going to put. A point between them, between two five five point five. Three times four five means three times forty five. One times forty five, two times forty five, and three times forty five. Then three times five, five five and five between two five. We are going to put a point. Let's multiply one by one. Twenty one multiplied by two, add three. Am I clear? So our answer is going to become forty-five. Next, twenty-two multiplied by two. Twenty-two two is what? Is forty-four plus four. Our answer is forty-eight. Next, twenty-three multiplied by two. Add five. Our answer is fifty-one. Next, twenty-four multiplied by two. Add four. Our answer is fifty-two. Next, twenty-five multiplied by two becomes fifty plus five. Our answer is fifty-five. Then twenty-six multiplied by two. Add four. Our answer is fifty-six. Then twenty-seven multiplied by two. Add five. Our answer is. Fifty nine, twenty eight multiplied by two, add three. Our answer is again fifty nine. Next twenty nine multiplied by two, add five point five. Our answer is sixty three point five. Yes, here is the exceptional case in the rule number five. Twenty nine is multiplied by two and add five point five. Is the exceptional case. Our answer is sixty three point five. Dear students, question. Yes. Why the molar mass of copper is considered to be 63.5? Not. It is considered to be as a round figure. Right? Okay. We are going to discuss in the same video later on. Last element. 30 multiplied by 2. 60. Add 5. Our answer is 65. Now let us discuss why. The molar mass of copper is considered to be 63.5, right? As per the chlorine, the same answer of video number two. But percentage wise and molar mass wise is a different one. Here the answer: copper having two different isotopes obtained in the mod abundance in a nature atomic mass of one isotope having. 62.93 gram per mole mass is obtained 69 percentage by another isotope having atomic mass 64.93 gram per mole is available in a 31 percentage. Let me simplify to obtain average atomic mass. Okay, first of all, the molar mass 62.93 is going to be multiplied by 69 divided by 100. Gives us answer forty three point forty two gram per mole. Now for the second isotope, molar mass is sixty four point ninety three, and the boundless percentage is thirty one multiplied by hundred. Gives us answer twenty point twelve. Add both of them, which means forty three point forty two plus twenty point twenty one. Gives us answer sixty three point fifty four gram per mole. So here is the answer why the atomic mass, the molar mass of copper, is considered to be sixty three point five.
file. Here, in video number 3, we have discussed about 21 to 30 elements. Prepare 1 to 30 elements with atomic number, name, symbol, number of protons, number of electrons, number of neutrons, molar mass and be ready for our video number 4. So, thanks for watching my video number 3.